This one is called Wake Up. Maybe you didn't like the sound I just made. However, there's something that's much more significant to consider and to dislike. So, I never expected this would ever happen in my lifetime. There is a film which has been released and at the moment it's only available in what the English call cinemas and what the Americans call theatres. It's only available to go into a building called a theatre and only in America, only in the US. That's the only place you can actually see this film at the moment and it's called Sound of Freedom. And it has become a world sensation and at least half of that is because of the reaction. The mainstream has reacted so strongly to this film that they are unwittingly driving up the audience figures. And this is changing the world in a way I never expected to see. Because there's something that's been going on for so long that we have no idea how many years this has been happening. Years beyond counting. In many societies all over the world, children are disappeared. That's what happens, children disappear, that's the first thing. And there's another thing which is equally unsettling, which is some parents and other people actually sell children because of the appalling situation they find themselves in, not being able to support their family. So it goes two ways. Children get taken, they get disappeared, and children get sold. And the ones that get sold, that money is used to enable the rest of the family to eat. It's that serious, that severe. So this has been going on for such a long time and there's a film and it's called Sound of Freedom. And this has plunged me into a state which is um, very hard to talk about and very hard to um, experience. So those of you who know me well enough will know that I went through experiences in my childhood and I've been on what astonishingly is a 33 year journey from total ignorance about what was done to me and what happened through to just a couple of years ago when finally with the incredibly patient help of a clinical psychologist I finally came to terms with everything that has disturbed my life so utterly and throughout the years there's always been the hope that one day someone will put a stop to this and this is something I say to many people which is what was done to me I've made my peace with that but what I will never make any peace with is the fact that it continues today it's still going on and I've been researching this subject for an extraordinarily long time. And it's a very difficult thing to research because it always brings about re-traumatization, but the re-traumatization I've been experiencing since this film has been released and I got to find out about it, it means that I'm mostly not functional the way I'd like to be. And I need to accept that. That's how it is. And that's how it was for the guy who's the star lead adult male in the film, Jim. In an interview with, uh, well, I'll leave you the link in the description. In fact, I'll leave you all the links of my recent research. It might be useful to you. So the, the guy, Jim, made it clear that he made the film and for two years after making the film, he was in such a state that he was, his functionality was severely compromised because of remembering the screaming and uh, him being unable to stop himself from crying uncontrollably. And the fact that he's got three children 
a dad of three. So this is a subject that is very, very hard for a lot of people to deal with. I do understand that. But what I invite you to do is to get over it, wake up and become clear about what's going on in our world today. Because once you do that, nothing will ever be the same again. And that's how change happens. This is how big changes occur in the world by people saying enough. And so I've taken a very small step today, which is I've paid it forward. I can't watch this film. I live in England, but I've paid for seven Americans, well, seven people living in the US. Uh, they've got, there are seven free tickets, which are going to those people. And angel.com forward slash, can't remember the rest of it. So please look in the description of the comment if you want to pay it forward and allow people who live where the theatres are showing this, then you're most welcome to do that. But I've also watched film footage from people taken on their phones in theatres in America. And they say, we went there and there was a power cut. We went there and the lights were on full blast. They didn't turn them off. We went there and the air conditioning wasn't working. We went there and the heating wasn't working. All the stops are being pulled out to discredit this film. And I'm not going to give that any airtime whatsoever because I'm sure you're way beyond all that. So I have got other irons in the fire things which I'm working on. And I probably won't ever tell you about them because um, that's not something I can do on this platform any more than I can actually tell you any details about what I've been through. But that's my point. What I went through... I've made peace with that, but I am not at peace because it's still going on. So thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the very best in your life and I wish you courage. It takes courage to face up to these things, doesn't it? So I wish you shed a little of courage and I'm going to let in a little secret which I never mentioned. Why is my hair this colour? Why is it like this? because that is the most accurate, truthful, honest representation of myself that there is. It's really honest. Hair standing on end, that is who I really am. And great gratitude to my mudang. And I'll share something about that in the comments. All love to you.